Hey everyone, and welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. And I just got done watching the uh, second anniversary Bankai live stream for the game. And guys, it was as hype as uh, we imagined it would be. There was a ton of new information, there was a ton of like just great things that they announced. And I'm gonna attempt to go over it all in this single video. Uh, so, as you can see, I've set up this new template. Uh, to keep the information organized and, you know, keep myself organized as well. Because, man, we got a lot to talk about, guys. Alright, so let's start right away with the second anniversary events. First off, we're going to get login bonuses. And uh, if we complete, if you log in every day from July 23rd to August 8th, you will get a total of 190 spirit orbs. But along the way, we're also going to get three Hogyoku wills and a five-star ticket. Just for logging in guys so you know even if you're not playing that much like on a certain day just at least log into the game and collect that bonus it's totally worth it all right so moving on uh the step up summons now i've already covered the step up summons in, an in another video but uh, i'll just briefly mention it here um the banner is it going to include uh the new second anniversary ichigo full burn ichigo and grimjo uh the image you see on screen is for the jp version uh, they have a slightly different pool, but for us, it's Grimjo, Second Anniversary Ichigo, and Full Bring Ichigo. Now, uh, we're gonna also, part of the step ups is that we're gonna get a free multi every day during the step ups, guys. And it's gonna be at 6%. So, wow, you know, um, that's so generous of K Lab. Um, you know, you're, I mean, with that many chances, you're bound to get at least one of those characters for free. No cost of spirit orbs, guys. So, Man, uh, it's unbelievable. The, the generosity, like I said, is um, it's very, uh, you know, it's you know, it's it's, it's OPAF. How else can I describe it? So that is hype, guys. Um, I can't. Uh, I don't. Know. Let's move on. All right. Uh, so Matthew also did mention that there will be a second round of the step ups, and if you've been waiting for Yoruichi, White, and Tensa, those characters will be in round. Two, guys and I'm assuming I'm assuming now that it's gonna be set up the same way as round one where we get a free multi uh, every day um, no word on if there's a uh, filler characters in these pools uh, we'll have to wait for the information on that I'm assuming that there will be obviously uh, all right so uh, what's the next thing guys uh, we also have two new power packs and uh, these are pretty good power packs. I mean, the images, from what I can tell, you get 169 spirit orbs for the first one. Uh, I mean, it looks like you can get Tsukishima. Is it Tsukishima? Or there's probably a pool. There's probably a pool of characters with that five-star ticket, and uh, Tsukishima is just one of those characters. But it looks like you also get some, some uh, Hogyoku wills as well. So, you know, guys, if you've never spent money on the game before, um, you know, this might be the time to do it. Uh, you know, this is a great deal. Uh, now is the time to have a lot of orbs because there's a lot of things to spend them on. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I highly suggest picking that up. Great value, 169 orbs. Uh, I don't know the exact price. I'm assuming it's like the previous, uh, the previous uh, ticket packs uh, around 23, $24 US. So in addition to the character pack, there's also an accessory pack, which includes, uh, I think it's a four star uh, accessory ticket and some, you know, editing brushes, books, uh, things of that nature. Everything having to do with accessories. So that might be a good thing to pick up as well if you're in need of accessories. They also talked about the new anniversary, second year anniversary quest, where you'll be able to pick up that new coin, the anniversary coin, which I'm assuming will grant 10% to all stats, uh, and it'll be a black attribute, meaning you can use it on any character, and it will still be 10%. So that's pretty hype as well, guys. Make sure you pick that up from the quest, the story event. Um, there will also be, guys, they said it's going to be a second year, uh, uh, I guess, accessory um, set of quests. And these will be sorted by attributes. So, so there will be one accessory quest for each attribute. And uh, this will drop attribute specific accessory tickets. So if you need purple accessories, do the purple event and you'll get those tickets and you can use those to summon. And who knows, you might get a gold chappy or whatever. It's actually a really great catch up mechanic if you've re-rolled or if you're just starting. Um, I'm currently starting a new account uh, just on the side and uh, this is gonna really help it out. You know, I can get the accessories I need for the characters that I have. And finally guys, they're also uh, giving out a player survey where we can give our feedback, uh, much like they did in the first anniversary, and you'll get 10 spirit orbs for filling that out. So, whew, a lot of stuff coming up in the following weeks for the second year anniversary, guys. It's very exciting. 
Most exciting thing is the step ups, obviously, but you know, the character packs look great. The uh, new accessory quests, uh, the new second year anniversary coin thing. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff. So make sure you try to participate if you can. So later on in the live stream, they talked about some future updates that will eventually be coming to Bleach Brave Souls. Uh, they didn't mention a timetable at all, but they mentioned what they were working on it. Guys, wow, some of these things look amazing. Um, so let's start off. Uh, the first thing uh, Alex and Matthew translated was that when you do a co-op, uh, if you like the players you played with, if you think they're good players, um, you can now request them as friends after the mission ends. So, I mean, it's not that big of a, a deal, but, you know, if you find a good player you like uh, co-oping with, you know, send them a request. Why not, you know? Uh, couldn't hurt. Uh, another thing that they're going to implement soon, and I think we already knew about this, is the uh, they're going to give us more options for uh, for the preset comments. So, you know, the comments that say thank you or good job. Uh, there's going to be a bigger pool of phrases you can use and you can customize your own uh, set of phrases. Uh, the next thing they spoke about was there are now going to be, this is pretty hype guys, uh, there are now going to be items that drop which can replace raid characters. So when you're leveling up a six star soul tree and it says you need like, I don't know, like three Ichigos to get uh, frenzy or something. Instead of do, getting those three Ichigos, you can now farm these items instead. And uh, it should make it easier. Uh, I don't know how you're gonna get the items, where they're gonna drop or anything like that, but it's just another option and it gives us more uh, flexibility when leveling up six star characters. So that's great, love it. Uh, PVP, uh, the artificial intelligence, how the characters behave is also being looked at. They didn't get into any details, but um, it's much needed, much requested by the player base. You know, we want our characters to act more reliably, reliably in PvP. So like, you know, if we want them to use strong attacks all the time or prioritize that, maybe they actually will this time. You know, you don't want to see Kenny, you know, leading off with his strong attacks. I mean, that's just, that always makes me, you know, like, ugh, I'm gonna lose, you know? So that'll be a great change for PvP. Might make it a little bit less frustrating. All right, uh, another quality of life change they mentioned was that the gift box will now be uh, a little bit more, uh, a little more user friendly. So instead of collecting all the gifts at once, you can now like select the ones you want to collect and uh, just collect those specific gifts. Um, this is great if you have like a lot of characters in your uh, in your gift box and you don't want to pick them up because they'll fill up your inventory. Uh, just you can just select the other things you want, like tickets or uh, spirit orbs or things like that. Just check them all off, and um, yeah, you don't have to do it one by one. Wait for it to process. Do the next one. Wait for it to process. Great quality of life change. I love it. And uh, oh, all right, guys. So now we're gonna get into the big, big changes that are gonna make our lives so much better. It's gonna make the game more fun. It's gonna make the game less grindy. And the first one is gonna be auto co-op. Wow, okay, great. Uh, wow, auto co-op. Uh, people have been talking about this for a long time and uh, they're finally going to implement it. So, uh, you know, if you have to grind out book runs or fusion trials or like, you know, lower tier raids, uh, you can now do that. And, oh my God, so hype guys. So, I mean, that's the great solution to the AFK thing. Uh, in my opinion. The only drawback is it th is that only the host can uh, can activate this feature. So if you're the host of the room, you can choose whether or not you want to allow players to auto or you want to not allow them to auto. Um, which is okay, I think that's fair. Uh, you know, most players probably can't auto a 5 star raid, so they need to have the choice from the room owner to do that. Um, great feature, great feature. Uh, long long needed and um yeah it's gonna make fusion trials so much better because you guys all know like to get books we have to grind a lot of fusion trials and with auto co-op oh wow it's just gonna be oh my god guys all right anyway moving on to the perhaps the best update they mentioned uh this one guys is big so there's gonna be an increase in the number of soul tickets you can hold uh right off the bat um, but the biggest news about this is that you can now use multiple soul tickets at the same time. All right, so if you don't understand what I mean, I'll try to explain it. Uh, you can now choose to do like say three quests in one kind of, or five or whatever the number is. Maybe it's unlimited. I don't know the specific numbers, but um, say you want to do a, a, um, a crystal run, right? Uh, you now only have to do it one time 
and if you choose to use five tickets on it, that one run will reward you the amount of crystals you would have gotten in five runs. So basically, I guess the best way to simplify it is you can now do five runs in one run. Uh, you can get the rewards for five runs in a single run. And I've seen this in other uh, games before, and it's very, oh my god, it just makes the grind so much less, uh, so much less tedious. Uh, you know, the game is fun to play, but when you're like playing the same stage over and over and over again, uh, it can get kind of monotonous. So wow, this is gonna make my life so much better. It's gonna make all of the, our lives that much better. Uh, great feature. I feel like Caleb is really listening to the player base. I, I feel like they're really trying to, you know, um, increase the fun factor for the game and make it less grindy. You know, games like this are always gonna be grindy, but you know, this helps quite a bit. You know, I mean, wow. If I can just do five raids by doing one raid, uh, wow, wow. I mean, droplet farming is gonna be better. You know, Hogyoku will farming, uh, crystal jewel farming, money farming, all that stuff. Uh, amazing, guys. I hope it comes soon. They didn't say when, but uh, it should be coming, you know, in the future. Uh, <laughs> I really can't say more than that. But uh, all right, so that's about it for the uh, future update. Sorry it took so long, guys, but there was a lot to talk about. Now uh, on to what is probably the most hyped thing, and uh, the new characters that are going to be coming out in the near future. Again, no dates, but these characters have been confirmed, and the first set of characters is gonna be another round of tag teams. And let's see here, guys. These are the tag team characters they announced. Uh, they already have the artwork for them. Looks like there's four, uh, which is kind of unusual. No, there's, uh, I mean, excuse me, there's five, which is kind of an unusual number. But, um, you know, we have the Retsu with Minazuki. We have Jushiro with Sogyo no Kotowari. We have uh, Koga with Muramasa. And it looks like it's the, uh, the past version of Koga as well, before he, you know, before he got locked up and he became deformed and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool, man. Uh, we also have Renji and Zabimaru. And what? Chojiro and what the heck is his Zapakdo's name? I can't even remember, guys. Uh, wow. Gonro... Gonro... Fuck, guys, I'm sorry. Gonryo Maro or something like that. I'm sorry, man. I, that's... I forget the name specifically, but Chojiro is finally going to be playable in the game. I know everybody's going to go all in for Chojiro. Man, wow, Chojiro hype. Guys, it's real. It's happening. The shit is going down. So, I mean, you know, I'm not sure how popular tag team characters are, but this is still cool. And they did announce that there would be a tag team Ichigo. I never thought this character would happen. Uh, you know, I'm one of those people who said, you know, why would that, that wouldn't make any sense because they never actually fought side by side. But I mean, it was a player request and people wanted it, so it happened. Um, you get um, Shikai Ichigo tag teamed with White Ichigo. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's probably not canon, but none of the tag teams are. But nevertheless, it's gonna be an amazing character. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. All these characters I'm kind of looking forward to. Chojiro especially. You know, lightning, lightning. Uh, there's no characters that have pure lightning powers, you know. Uh, that Jushiro we have does have lightning. But that's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. That's not really a Jushiro power in my opinion. All right. Huh. I gotta take a breath because we're moving into the manga characters. Confirm, and I said this a couple of days ago, people didn't believe me. Um, you know, some people didn't believe me. Most of you guys trusted your boy, but um, manga characters are confirmed, guys. And these are the ones, these are the first batch that's coming out. And it's gonna be my boy, Byakuya, and he looks amazing, guys. Look at that artwork. I want that hanging on my wall. Like, I mean, if I could buy that, you know, I, I would I would pay you, K-Lab, if you would sell me a print of that artwork. I mean, I. You know me. Uh, Toshiro also looks amazing. And uh, you know, if you haven't read the manga, now is the time to catch up because they're coming to the game. Uh, no confirmed date of when. Uh, Alex did say before the end of this year, and that's all we have to go on. So the other characters are Sajin in his human form and uh, Bankai, it looks like Bankai Shunsui. So, wow, wow. Oh my God, I'm so hyped for these characters. Uh, pretty much these manga characters, this announcement has overshadowed uh, everything in the game for me. Like, the, even the new Ichigo, even all the step-ups, um, 
for me personally, that was like kind of hype as fuck, but this kind of blew that out of the water. Um, I don't, I'm, just, I'm speechless guys, I'm sorry. This video, like my commentary is horrible in this video, but I'm just hyped, man, I'm hyped. Manga characters, I can't believe it guys. You know, I'm sure that some, some of our, you know, like, uh, some of our demand for it did have a role in them going forward with manga characters. You know, I, I know a lot of us wanted them. K-Lab listened and, uh, you know, I'm sure they're gonna reap the benefits, you know, because um, I'm definitely gonna support the game well into the well into the far future and uh, you know I'm gonna throw money at it you know I'm gonna throw that loot at these new characters uh, especially if they got stern readers but they just gotta hurry up man they gotta hurry up because I need them now you know what I mean wow wow all right guys so finally they announced and confirmed movie characters are coming uh, no date on this one either uh, Alex I think she said uh, before 2018 but my, uh, movie characters are coming in the near future and they put up this image showing all the movies that they could draw characters from. Uh, so people that wanted, you know, Hell vs. Ichigo, that's gonna happen, guaranteed. Uh, people that wanted Senna, that's gonna happen. Um, I forget some of the other movie characters, but there's quite a few. And uh, I know a lot of people were wanting them, like Dark Rukia. How can I forget Dark Rukia? Tonberry, dude, Tonberry. Dark Rukia, confirmed in the near future. Don't know when, hope it's soon. That's all I gotta say. All right, so that is everything in the live stream, guys. All the news type of stuff. There was some other really cool stuff in there as well. They had the uh, contest winners for the cosplay, uh, for the art contest. They actually even showed a, a, a clip of uh, you know how the characters were developed, uh, you know, by the by the game developers, uh, you know, from the artwork and like the drawings uh, into the you know like part where they like make it 3D and make it like uh, actual uh, graphics within the game. That was really interesting for me. Uh, they had the voice actor for Kurosaki Ichigo, uh, Morita, he was there hanging out. Um, I, I don't remember some of the other names. Um, the, the voice actor for uh, Shuhei was there. Uh, they did co-op, they read some, uh, some excerpts from the light novels that continued the story of Bleach. It was a lot of fun guys, there was a lot in that live stream. Uh, shouts out to Alex and Matthew for translating. I think they did a great job. Ma Matthew was translating in French and English, it was crazy. Um, but if you haven't checked it out, I will definitely link it in the description. You know, go skim through it. There's a lot of fun stuff. And if you're a Bleach fan, uh, you'll probably end up watching the whole thing. So, whew, guys, I'm gonna have to drink some water. That was a lot of news to get through. Hopefully I did a good job explaining it. Uh, let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's get hype. Let's, uh, you know, let's support the game, continue the support. Cause obviously when we support the game, they give us what we ask for. Um, you know, confirm manga characters, movie characters, uh, upgrades to like, you know, co-op, uh, everything, everything. Oh my God, guys. All right, so that is all I have. Thanks for watching this video. I, I know it's a little bit longer than my usual videos, but like I said, there is a lot to talk about. Check out the live stream recording. It's on the, it's in the links below. And uh, I will see you most certainly in the next video. Bye-bye.